Hello, welcome to Roy's Book Reviews. I am Roy, and in my latest entry here, I am going to discuss a novel by a heralded author whom all of you, I'm sure, know of. Perhaps you have read um, one or more books by him or seen movies based on his books. Um, he's a literary icon, a giant in the uh, literature industry and art form, but this book unfortunately did not really do it for me, um, so this review is not going to be a rave. Um, I would have given a rave for other books of his, such as Tough Guys Don't Dance, for example, um, but Today I am going to be discussing The Castle in the Forest by, if you haven't already guessed or figured out, by Norman Mailer. So let me uh, turn off this music here and get to it. All right. Uh, there is no question that Norman Mailer possessed a mastery of the written word. My appreciation of that, along with the amount of research obviously involved in writing this book, and the fascinating premise of Norman Mailer's final novel, uh, keeps me from panning it. Um, I wish, though, that he had gone out um, on a stronger note. Um, I'm not going to rave about this book because I was ultimately underwhelmed by The Castle in the Forest. Um, despite the premise, uh, watching Hitler from birth to adolescence through the eyes of one of Satan's minions, who is helping to guide his path to pure evil, um, sounded like a brilliant concept uh, when I read the synopsis. Um, but Miller's execution fell a good bit short of expectations um, that were built by the premise along with uh, Norman Miller's sterling reputation and appreciation I had coming in um, for um, books of his that I had read previously. I can excuse the odd fascination um, that the castle in the forest shows with bowel movements, less than fragrant smells, and other um, pleasantries. Uh, Miller chooses, uh, for whatever reason, to equate bad hygiene with evil as if the best way to convince readers a person is born to be bad um, is by making him gross. Uh, considering that in this book, Hitler is the result of incest, uh, which is something I'd never heard about Hitler before, but apparently it is based on um, possible reality. Um, I suppose it makes sense that he wouldn't be especially cuddly and huggable from well before um, evil and hunger for power um, took control of Hitler. So I took the rampant incest and pedophilia in stride. Um, less forgiving, however, of the ridiculous amount of detail um, that is given in this book uh, to the raising of bees. Um, yes, the goings on of a beehive um, is intriguing. Uh, I'll admit, uh, The Secret Life of Bees is a book I've read um, that pays homage to this fact with just the right amount of attention, in my intention, in my opinion. The castle in the forest goes on and on about bees, well beyond what my interest in the subject matter was willing to tolerate. Then there is a big chunk of this book that leaves the main plot behind to follow another one entirely. Uh, that's about the coronation of Nicholas II. This section is connected to the rest of the novel because the narrator remains unchanged, still um, the devil's um, little helper. Um, but it has far less to do with the plot of Hitler's upbringing than the word count of this section warrants. Mailer actually states in the book that readers can skip this section if they wish to and resume reading it um, like 40 or so pages um, later on. 
after slogging through the section anyway, because, you know, I wanted to read every single word that Mr. Mailer gifted us with. Um, I have to say, I wish I had taken his advice. Uh, the Nicholas the second section should have been edited uh, way down. Uh, if I'm being overly harsh here, it's in part because I had such high hopes for the castle in the forest. Based on such rich opportunities um, that the plot seemed to provide and the heralded talent of the book's author. The end result is not a bad book, simply an admirable effort. Um, that I found more disappointing than memorable. And considering that Norman Mailer's um, final novel before he transitioned, um, I wish that he'd gone out um, on a higher note, but you know, as they say, they can all be winners. And from what I've read, critics actually um, did like this book, or at least some of them did, and gave it pretty um, solid reviews. Um, I may be in the minority of those um, who was not especially crazy about it. Um, as for you, I say um, give it a shot, um, especially if you're interested in historical fiction and um, Adolf Hitler and reading about evil, psychotic people. Um, just keep in mind that this book takes place during his youth, so it's not about um, the horrible things Hitler does as an adult, but about the forming of the person who goes on to do um, such terrible things. Um, so that is everything I have to say about The Castle in the Forest. If you have read it or decide to read it, um, drop a line in the comments, let me know what you thought about it. Until the next time, this is Roy saying peace out. Happy reading.